Hello everyone, you're welcome back to this podcast, I'm still your host Victoria, welcoming you back again to the positive moment, yes this is PME podcast, we stands for positive music entertainment and if you are here to follow us on our social media platforms you can as well do that, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter at PME underscore music Why? over there and it could be afternoon in another country so i just want to use a general time i'm really excited to be here and like i told you during the introductory episode that on this show on this podcast there are so many things we are going to be discussing there's so many real life facts real talk a lot of things that will be discussed and today we are, we are going to be focusing on Uganda, book one, book one, book one, book one, and the Uganda elections. That falls under politics, history, as well as societal issues, because these elections going on in Uganda has actually sparked a lot of a lot of arguments, a lot of discussions on social media all over Africa, especially in Nigeria. You know, last year, 2020, 2020 in Nigeria was a very wonderful year. Then let me say something else because this is the positive moment so we have to be positive in all of our discussion so last year the NSAS movement was trending and a lot we gathered a lot of support from other African countries and during that during that uh, movement there were a lot of discussions about 2023 and if we still want to recycle the same old leaders that we've been having since we started democracy in Nigeria, we have been recycling among the same set of people. And there were a lot of discussion if we are ready to give room for a youth in Nigeria to actually take up that position. So now looking at Uganda and Uganda elections with Bobby Wine, who is 34 years old, contest okay, he's 39 years old contested for the post of the president of uganda against a man who has been president of uganda for the last in the last 34 years so it actually sparked a lot of discussions on twitter most especially about uh nigerians if we are really ready to also have that kind of moment movement or revolution in nigeria Before we move ahead, we need to talk about the current president of Uganda, who is President Uweri Museveni. President Uweri Museveni was born on the 15th of September 1944 and he attended Hayamate Elementary School, Mbara High School, and Intari School and later proceeded to the University of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. He studied economics and political science and he became a Marxist. Okay, so President Museveni became a democratic president in 1996. Before that time, he has been a military president. So he became a democratic president in 1996, defeating Paul Semugerere of the Democratic Party. 
The second set of elections were aired in 2001 and he also won. In 2011, he also won. 2016, he won. So he has been president all through the democratic years of Uganda. Before that time, he has been president as a military officer. He has been a military president before the switch to democracy. If he wins the election again this year, 2021, he will be working with the seventh U.S. president. Imagine that. So, in the course of, of him being president, he has actually witnessed seven presidents of the United States of America, and yet he is still the president of Uganda. And now, you know, the funny thing is that Bob, Bobby Wine was four years old when he became president, and now he is 39 years old, contesting against that same president. He has known all his life as a child and even as an adult. Imagine that. They have only had one president in Uganda for 34 years. And he is known among Ugandans to be to be a dictator. And that hashtag was trending on Twitter. We are removing a, a dictator. That was the hashtag that was trending on the 14th of January 2021, which was the election date. Prior to the election date, like two days to the election, social media was actually shut down in Uganda. They couldn't access Facebook, they couldn't have access Twitter, and they couldn't even make calls. They had to depend on other African countries, other countries to be able to train what is happening in Uganda. And a lot of people that were posting stuff on Twitter, they were posting it outside of Uganda in solidarity with Uganda, especially in Nigeria. Nigerians actually stood by Uganda during the elections and were doing a lot of social media campaigns against President Museveni. They were also trending the hashtag we're removing a dictator and trending the hashtag we want Bobby Wine on Twitter. Okay, so who is Bobby it's Wine? Like Bobby yeah, Wine I'm was ready. born Robert Kagulaini Sentamu on the 12th of February, By 1982. He began his music career in the early 2000s because he's actually a musician. He's known for reggae, for dancehall, and Afrobeat, and he has won several awards with music. And his music has actually been the conscious kind of music he, he has been a kind of person that have been preaching through his music preaching um democracy and he has been against this Museveni government for a very long time before he came into the parliament in 2017 and now is contesting for the seat of the president of Uganda before the elections, there have been a lot of clips online circulating where Bobby Wine was attacked, where his team was attacked, where his campaign was scattered. And even on the election day, there was a video circulating on Twitter where his wife was being harassed and assaulted. He, he, even he himself was assaulted several times because they wanted to shut him down by all means. And as such, Today, this afternoon, the 15th of January 2021, he tweeted that the military has taken over his home. He, can you imagine? The government of uh, Uganda desperately want to shut him down and they want to take over that position again and again. They don't want to vacate that position. And now, the Nigerians, the discussion on on nigerian twitter is are we ready for this kind of change in nigeria how do we have anybody we can present who can be the face of the youth in the 2023 elections that were ready to support but there have been a lot of debates some people are of the opinion that we could present any of the youths there were actually i don't want to mention names there were people who were brought forward on twitter the pictures were circulating on twitter people were active during the NSAS protest and so people were of the opinion that 
there have been a lot of youth in power and none of them have actually proved to be able to undo it they got they got there and became intoxicated with power and started rolling with the same old the same set of people we are trying to to you know the same old men that would do we do not we do not want in power anymore they are still rolling with them there are well, some people are of the opinion that even if we present the youth they are still not going to make any difference and some were like let's just try them you never can tell and now thinking about it in nigeria who is our bobby wine who is that youth who can actually stand in the face of oppression and still be able to say that we are going to deliver this country we are still going to you know the youth are going to take over who is that person who can do that in nigeria there is a pa- particular activist that have been arrested several times also contested for the seat of the presidency in nigeria in the last elections he lost yes he lost and since that time he has been there's been a lot of protests he has been organizing and he has been arrested severally a lot of people are not supporting him because they feel he's pushing an agenda he just wants to become the president why some people are like he has the best interest of nigeria at heart. but this man has refused to back down he has been arrested several times and i think he's currently in custody for staging another protest recently in nigeria we really don't know who our bobby wine is because we have youth in power who are not even giving us the kind of vibes that we want to see they are not doing anything different from the same set of people we want to pursue out of power the elections in uganda has not been concluded although bobby wine has intended that he was leading he was leading in the elections on the 14th of january but now all of a sudden museveni is leading and it actually shows that the election was not free and fair because how do we explain a situation where the citizens are actually out there crying that they want the dictator they want museveni out of power and yet the election result is proving of otherwise the election result is showing that museveni is leading yeah, the people on the street, the masses are saying they don't want him. So how come? Who voted him? Who voted him? So it actually shows that something is not adding up somewhere. The elections has not been concluded. And in Nigeria also, we are looking up to whoever the youth will present in 2023. We don't know who the person will be. The kind of view that really has the interest of Nigerians at heart. Not just somebody who wants the power. Not just somebody who wants the position. Not just one of those youths who believes that I will just get there and pack my own. No. But somebody who really has the interest of Nigeria at heart. And who is ready to do something different. Totally different from what our past leaders have been doing. And who is going to make, who is going to effect all the changes that we have been looking we have been looking forward to all these years. We don't know who that person will be. But 2023 is just around the corner. This is 2021. And in no time, we'll be in 2023 elections. And before we know it, we'll be there. We don't know who that person will be. But we hope that somebody in Nigeria will be able to rise in the face of, the ele- in the face of harassment and assault. Like Bobby Wine, he has been... His campaign was disorganized several times. Yes, he kept forging ahead. He kept Mr. forging ahead. Lecky, Yet, the in fact, there's so many attempts on his life, but he kept escaping. And here we are. We don't know what the election results will actually bring forth. But we hope for the best. We wish Uganda all the best. And we hope that in 2023, Nigerians will rise the youth in nigeria will rise and be able to bring forward somebody who will be able to stand against recycling the same set of leaders in nigeria this is still the voice of victoria and today we are discussing the election on the election in Uganda.
don't forget to follow pme underscore music on instagram on facebook on twitter and tumblr snapchat name it we are all over the place this is 2021 have i said happy new year to you happy new year i hope this year is going to be a wonderful year for us and it's going to be a year where we're going to achieve all our goals please make sure that in this year you don't joke with your health you don't joke with your health don't joke with your health where you're supposed to rest rest where you're supposed to eat eat where you're supposed to work out work out some people actually need to work out more this year yeah you know last year there was a lot of lockdown quarantine and people were told they were just eating 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 and the festive period just uh, was it just around like the and a lot of people ate 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 so we need to work out this too and this year stay fit and take care of your health coronavirus is still out there max up when you need to sanitize wash your hands and be where you're supposed to be don't visit crowded places when you don't have to go out stay at home when you really have to go out to work definitely have to make money make sure you are taking all the precautions okay this is the voice of victoria and i hope you have a nice day thank you for listening and p3.com.ng